Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to the Traveling Epicurean. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite all-time dishes, shrimp scampi and linguine in an amazing sauce made in mere minutes. It's made with garlic, butter, clam broth, and white wine. Oh my goodness, it's out of this world. Let me show you what we're going to need to get this going. This is what we're going to need to make our shrimp scampi. I have a pound of shrimp. I have two bottles of clam broth. I love bumblebee. Olive oil, salt and pepper. I have two lemons. I have lots of garlic here. I have four cloves, finely minced. I have a tablespoon of shallot that I finely minced. And I have two large cloves that I just smashed. We'll probably be using about five tablespoons of butter. I have some grated cheese with red pepper flakes and without, and then I have a quarter cup of finely chopped parsley, the flat leaf parsley. And I also have a half a cup of white wine and a pound of pasta. So let me show you how I clean and devein our shrimp. So to devein them yourself, you slice on the outer edge of the shrimp in about an eighth of an inch. So we're just going to easily slice like this, the knife down, and then open it up, and then you'll see the dark strand that's in there, and we need to take that out. And look, it comes easily out, just like that. It is a little time consuming, so it just depends on your schedule, but it's easily done, and um, that's how you do it. All right, so I'm going to start getting this pan hot. I have it on medium high heat. I want it hot because I want to start searing the shrimp right away. We're going to sear the shrimp. We're going to take the shrimp out of the pan, begin the sauce, and as soon as we begin the sauce, we're going to put our pasta in because that's how quick it is to make the sauce. I love my shrimp scampi because the sauce tastes like you spent a lot longer on it than you actually have. So our pan is getting hot. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter to this and then I'm going to start adding in the shrimp. I'm throw it in all at once there. I'm going to throw in my whole crushed garlic cloves. See, I keep them whole this way they don't get bitter by being too small. They're flavoring all the olive oil and the shrimp. I'm going to start to turn these over. It's been about two and a half minutes on each side. I'm going to deglaze a little bit with some white wine. We're going to let that white wine infuse for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to remove the top. Oh my goodness, if you could smell this. So I'm going to remove the shrimp and then start working on the sauce because you don't want the shrimp to overcook because they'll get rubbery. So these are perfect and we'll start working on our sauce. I'm going to add in our shallots and our, all of our garlic. The reason I add in the garlic now is so, no, so that garlic doesn't get bitter on us. To let it soften up just a little bit and then I'm going to add in my two bottles of broth some white wine and we're going to let that simmer for about seven minutes and that's it. The sauce will be done. So delicious. So I'm going to deglaze this with some the rest of the white wine. Our two bottles of clam broth. It might seem like a lot but this is going to reduce and you're going to need it for a pound of pasta. You don't want to be eating pasta with no sauce. So let's get this simmering. So our sauce looks beautiful. I turned it down so it's at a really low simmer. And the juices that release from the shrimp. So I'm adding back in the shrimp. I'm gonna add in some of our parsley. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna save some for the top of the pasta. And now I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. You need to add flavor as we go along. So I'm going to taste the sauce and at the end I'm going to add the lemon. I always wait to the end because I don't want the lemon to get bitter. All right, so look, I'm going to squeeze this lemon into my strainer here. I really like doing this in the strainer even though I, 
I try and cup it in my hands. A lot of times those seeds go through and there's nothing worse than having a seed in your sauce and you really won't be able to detect it very well because it's such a light sauce and it's the same color as the seeds. So I'm gonna strain it in this bowl and I'm gonna add the juice from one whole lemon. I'm gonna add it to the shrimp in the last two minutes on that low simmer right before we add it to the pasta. I drained my pasta, it's al dente. It still has a little bit of tooth. I'm gonna add in my four tablespoons of butter now. I like to have the pasta start to absorb some flavors like the butter. We're gonna do a little bit of salt. I want you to try the pasta before we add the sauce and make sure that it's flavored. This way it won't take away from the sauce. You want your pasta. Pasta is so full of starch it really needs the salt and the butter to flavor it. Some people really can't have too much salt at all, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. And then we have our beautiful shrimp scampi here. And this clam broth is so tasty with the wine. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna add this to our pasta, and then I'm gonna put it in a big platter, and it's gonna be really beautiful, and I'll show you my presentation. Look how gorgeous that is. And then we'll just toss it a little bit. I'm gonna add some more parsley and save just a little bit more parsley for the top. But see, you, you want some juice because as this sits here and while you're plating up, it's gonna keep on absorbing. And you wanna make sure that every single person has a little bit of that lovely broth in their plates. If you could only smell this. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. So I'm gonna make sure I went and got my spatula. I want all those garlic pieces that were in the pan, full of flavor. All right. And then you know me in the presentation. I love my big dish. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it in the center and then I'm gonna arrange lemons going on the outside of that. It's gonna be really, really pretty. Just slide this in the pan here. And I'm gonna top this with a little bit of parsley. Looks beautiful. Wait till you see this. Put some of our lemons around here. Pretty. And I'll put a little bit more parsley on top of that. The green really stands out. It's a nice contrast, but I'm gonna sprinkle on some plain Parmesan because it looks beautiful for the presentation. Really, really nice. All right, so let's make up a plate of this. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't wait any longer for this. So I'm gonna help myself. And scoop some of that lovely sauce, that broth, Right? Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness. I can't wait for you to try this. You're gonna love it. Remember, you can find it at travelingepicurean.com. Have a great weekend. Ciao!